I was able and lucky at the Boston Globe to get on the Spotlight team in the 1980s. And that started a, a journey into um, covering the Bulgers, Whitey Bulger and the FBI and revealing all kinds of corruption that uh, it's, a, it's a big story to this day. When Whitey was arrested in, in June of, of, of 2011, I was actually in many ways uh, had moved on from Whitey and the FBI. And uh, suddenly he was arrested and it was like, wow. And this realization came to us that it was, uh, this guy's a really big deal and history's gonna show um, that he's in his own league. And if that's the case, he warrants a biography, a full life story. Uh, so suddenly we were back in gear and, and uh, Jerry O'Neill and I, who, who uh, um, had, we'd written Black Mass together, another book about Whitey and the FBI, thought it was time to put those Black Mass years into the context of his entire life. Whitey is a full biography of, of an amazing crime boss in American history at this point. Uh, Black Mass, our earlier book, focused on what we have come to call the Black Mass years, which is from 1975 when he cut his deal with the Boston FBI, which has been characterized as a devil's deal, an unholy alliance, all based on the corruption that, that came out of that situation. That's the focus in the heart of the book Black Mass, is the, the corrupt ties between this crime boss and, and the nation's top law enforcement agency. The biography puts those Black Mass years into the, you know, the full arc of his life. So it really is uh, a, a, you know, a big, full-bodied story. Thank you.